Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about AWS Simple Notification Service, SNS. So the agenda would be, I'll be explaining what is SNS, what are the three components, important components it has and the short demo and about the pricing as well, how, the, how they charge, charge the usage of SNS. So what is SNS? It is an, first of all, it is an AWS service. Let me show you in the console. So you can see here, I've already logged into my AWS console, AWS account. There are so many services, AWS services, one by one, I'm uploading the videos. So in this video, I'm going to explain simple notification service, which is under application integration section. Okay, so you can see a simple notification service. It's a service that allows you to automate the notification through email, SMS, HTTP, SQS or Lambda. So based on some events that happened in your account, AWS account. Let me, let me explain you with the picture. Let's take an example. Like you are a business person and you have, you are running a business like you have an application for booking a tourist ticket. Okay. So it's, it's, it's already in production. So customers started logging in and started booking the tickets. So we have to monitor the application the ticket booking application because we have to provide always 99.9% .9 is like service to our customers otherwise if it's down for for example five hours the customers won't like our product and our brand value will be reduced and it, they might our customers might go for our competitor so it's very very important to monitor my application which is running in production okay so for example the ticket book app is running people started using it and we have to monitor it's working fine but one fine day like one day it got crashed okay and we have another service called cloudwatch service it can monitor some of the metrics when i say metrics like easy to instance we can monitor or you can also monitor there are so many metrics actually so api gateway latency so my expectation is like it should respond within five seconds. What if it takes more than five seconds, then there is a problem, then I need to monitor it. And then it should be notified to my team so that they can debug and check what's happening. So, so in this example, we are mo monitoring VC2 instance and CloudWatch is a service that detects the crash and then it creates an alarm. Okay, so it creates an alarm and the alarm is attached to SNS, simple notification service. So once we get an alarm, what is the next step? We have to fix the problem. So we find, found out there is a problem in our production system, then we have to fix it. So who will fix it? There are two ways. One is automated, like you can auto scale the AC instance, something like that. But I'm not going to talk about automated now, automation now. I'm going to talk about like we are going to send a notification to our system administration team or DevOps team or customer care team. So once the alarm is triggered, it is it is attached to SNS, simple notification service, then it sends to all the subscriptions. It might be email or SMS. So once our system team, system admin team caught the message, they might think like, hey, uh, our server crashed, I have to fix it. Okay, so the system, uh, the DevOps team find out the logs and check what's happening for each instance, whether the memory is slow or not. So they'll check and debug and try to fix it and make it up and running. So this is the flow. So we monitor CloudWatch service, detects it, create an alarm, and then push the message to the, and or inform the message to the SNS, and SNS takes care of notifying this problem through SMS or email or whatever endpoints, available endpoints to the team. And the team takes care of fixing it so this is the flow and which is very very important for any system that is running in production so i just explained you the like what is sns at a high level using a picture then there are three components which are important for sns publisher topics and subscriber so our subscription okay so when i say publisher it will be like the cloud watch alarm in this example that we saw so CloudWatch Alarm will monitor and push the message and topic is like a middleman which is going to connect the publisher and the subscription. So once the uh, message, message has been pushed to topic and topic from topic, the message will be pushed to all the subscriptions. 
I'm going to show you a demo now, like how to create a, a topic and then push a message so that you can understand in a better way. So I'm going to click on topics. I've already created like three, four topics. I'm going to create one more. So you can see like create a communication channel that's called topic to send messages and subscri subscribe to notification. So I'm going to create a topic now. Easy to alert three. Okay. I'm going to create one and then create a topic. So I created a topic now. The middleman is ready. Then I'm, I'm going to create a subscription. As I told you, there are different ways to notify. You can call an HTTP endpoint, HTTPS, email, then SQS and Lambda. So you, you can choose. For the demo purpose, I'm going to use an email. Interview.gmail.com so I'm going to create the subscription. So it's pending confirmation because I need to go to my email and then confirm it. So I got one. So here I have to click so that here the message will be, for example, here, the pending confirmation will be gone. Okay, now it's confirmed. So we created the middleman and the subscription. So what happens when I push, publish a message to the topic? Let's see, it'll send an email. I'm going to say like EC2, uh, instance crashed in Bangalore location. Bangalore, just for demo purpose, Bangalore location. Okay, so I'm going to say like, dear admin team or admin admin team. Like this, is, this can be configured. Admin team, the easy instance has been crashed. Please have a look, and then some logs. Maybe for example, logs attached and some more messages. Just for demo purpose, I'm just keeping message short. So I'm going to publish this. What will happen when I publish a message? You can see here, I would have got it says like easy to instance crashed in Bangalore location. Okay. And I say, and I got a message saying that, dear team, please have a look because there, there is one instance crashed in Bangalore location. Just an example, like how the notification will be sent. Okay. So if you look at the flow, we created a topic, then we created a subscription, which is called as email subscription. Okay. And then I pushed a message to the SNS topic. Then in turn, it pushed the message to the email subscription. And as an admin, I got the email. Now I'm going to check the EC2 instance, which broke in Bangalore location, just for example. Okay. In, uh, in the production, what would have happened is like, it's not manual. This publishing message to the SNS topic, would be connected to CloudWatch alarm. Okay, I'll also show that how it's done. So I can go to CloudWatch. So this is one of the alarm. So metrics, the metrics that need to be watched and alarm name and additional settings. And here there is a section called actions. Here I can say like send notification to SNS topic. Okay, so th by this way, we can attach an alarm to SNS. So we have covered what is SNS, three components, and the demo and the last part is how it's being charged. It depends on the number of SNS requests and the number of subscribers the message is sent to and the data transfer in and out of SNS. So this is how the basic way to calculate the charge, the usage of SNS. Okay. So this is what I had in my agenda. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to share with your friends, please share. And subscribe to my channel because I'm going to post more uh, technical videos in future. If you have any comments or questions or if I'm missing anything, please post your comments so that everyone learn, can learn together. Thank you so much for your time and all the best for your career. Thank you.